Get in the guts, Barry. Shut the gate on this one, Max. Here's the duck's guts. Yeah, she's the last of the V8. She sucks nitro. Uh, uh, base four head. Quit over head, Sam. Yeah. Uh, 600 horsepower through the wheel. With the blower. With the blower. Oh, she's meanest, but the music. Because the bitch is born to last. Let's go, Barry. Let's go. 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 let us go the Mad Max 1 car, and the funny thing is, the uh, green light also, the day before I think it was, or right around the same time, also announced their releasement of the Mad Max 1 Interceptor as well. And what's cool, I I have, uh, I'd like to show some photos here that I took off of, uh, right off of Facebook, it's off of you, the uh, Auto Arts Facebook page, I should say, and uh, these seven photos are a pre-production model, of course, but I'm really, really hoping that it looks just as nice as the Mad Max 2 car, and looking at the photos, it looks pretty cool. It's got Peter Arcadia pan body kit, the Sunraysia wheels, the Wii and Supercharger appears to be polished, as well as the Scott injection hat and intake. Uh, they have the, um, you know, inside you have all do, the cool details you, to expect from Auto Art to Max Rob's steering wheel and the blower switch. The blue police lamp is in there. Um, they have uh, the correct BFG tires. Like I said earlier, the Sunraysia wheels appear to be the correct uh, van style wheels that are painted black. The back end on the new one here looks to be have an actual screen opposed to the Mad Max 2 version that I have where it's just a, a piece painted to look like a screen and the trunk also has the correct spoiler and carpeting in the inside so I think their their release date for this car is it said mid 2017 and I believe the pre-order dates for the green light version is also about the same time, if not maybe a little later. Now there's a big difference in the price. The green light version from what I've seen the pre-price is at about $69, that's US dollars. And Auto Art, Auto Art has yet to release a price. Now as most of you know, Auto Art, the, the prices have gotten pretty high, I think. Um, like. My, I originally paid, I think, like about $100 for my Mad Max 2 car, and then people wanted like $1,000, something crazy on eBay for them. It just shot up in price that they stopped making them. I believe they actually made three production runs of the Mad Max 2 car originally. They had, uh, there was a first one, and the second one, the front end could come off, I think, magnetically. And then the third version was a, a dirty version with the, where the front end could come off. Um, the one I have is the first release where it, the, the headlight section doesn't come off. Uh, but anyhow, the I have a feeling the auto art version, we might as well just say it's probably gonna be a 200 to $250 car. So we'll just get that right out of the way now. I, unfortunately, when you look at other auto art cars, I'm, you know, I, I would say minimum is gonna be 200, max $300. And that's kind of unfortunate because I'm sure there's going to be a ton of people who want this car. But their paint jobs are phenomenal. Uh, the, the Mad Max 2 car I have, the paint job is one of the best paint jobs I've ever seen on any diecast car to this day. And I've seen hundreds and hundreds of different diecast cars over the, in the last 30 some years. The pinstripe detail of this where it goes into the satin black is perfect. Um, you, you get what you pay for essentially and I've never lost any money on auto art cars any of them I've ever bought and sold I've always made money on so as my uncle used to say it's money in the bank now for those who can't afford the auto art car it's great that green light is gonna be making their own version I don't know how good it is because we've yet to see photos of it and even the auto art pre-production photos you can see some glue marks and some uh, hints that it's obviously a pre-production model 
so it's not perfect from what I'm looking at in photos but it's darn nice and I am really 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 psyched to get my hands on one of these bad because I'm a huge uh, Mad Max Interceptor fan and I also like movie cars so that's my huge release uh, an announcement for for today that I have and, and maybe I'll start doing more of these videos where we have little announcements and you guys see what you you know it's up to you guys if you think I should uh, do more things like this let me know uh, if you have any other ideas from videos I could do that'd be cool too and just let me know and um, so let's all uh, keep our fingers crossed and hopefully these two cars from the two manufacturers come out and they don't bail I've seen other cars that well I I waited years and years for the uh, James Dean 550 spider to come out from Shuko and then when I finally did it didn't disappoint the first 550 spiders from then did but that's another example of um hopefully you know things will come true eventually if you, you keep waiting long enough i'm just um hoping and praying that the auto art for sure uh, comes through and i'm sure they will so here's to you guys at auto art and and uh, green light thanks a lot for listening to the fans and um we'll get to see that here by end of 2017 those two cars so all right well thanks for listening you guys and until next time we'll see you guys later all right bye now